For some students, the winter break is a good time to rest and relax, but the Needham wrestling team stayed busy, highlighted by the Lowell Holiday Tournament on December 28th. And in that tournament, Dan Axman came in third overall at 182 pounds, while Brady Liss finished at fifth at 126. The Rockets' first meet in 2017 was Wednesday, January 3rd, hosting an experienced Natick squad. In that meet, the Rockets, they dropped the first set, but then they win three straight matches, starting at 113 pounds. Adam Cates picks up the first round pin to tie the match at six right there, and up next at 120, it's Peter Bannon. He gains control early in the second round for the pinfall victory right there. And then we move on to last year's state finalist, as I mentioned earlier, Brady Liss at 126. Look at him blast through for the double leg takedown early on. And then in the second round, he gains control up near the chest, hooks the arm, and he picks up Needham's third straight pin. So the Rockets lead 18 to six after four matches, but it's all Natick after that one. Joe Castellino starts the Red Hawks turn around. He wraps his arm around the back of the neck right there, and Josh Noller has nowhere to go. Then we bump up to 160, and Kyle Basteric in position right across the chest. You can see right there, same thing. Nowhere to go for Needham. Natick up 29-18 at that. At 170, it was Carl Serhan. He trying, tries to jumpstart the Rockets on a comeback here. Makes the reversal for two points, but Next round, it's a reversal of fortune as he gets reversed by Tim Ramstrom, flipping the script, and Natick picks up another match win, eight to four. And they would close it out with two more victories by pinfall, including this one right here in the third round pin by Ramathan Makayu in the 220 matchup. Natick would win this meet by a final of 50 to 21, so the Rockets slipped to five and three with the loss. Up next, they'll look to bounce back in the Belmont tournament on Saturday, January 7th. Meanwhile, in other competition this week, all four basketball and hockey teams returned to play as well. First up, it was the basketball teams picking up action on Tuesday as the girls team hosts their first home game of the season in a 50 to 26 victory over Weymouth. Meanwhile, the boys pulled one out on the road at Weymouth. They won 60 to 52 in overtime. And then Wednesday night, that was hockey night. The girls led by a hat-trick by Elizabeth Herrenberg. They trounced Weymouth 6-1, and despite four goals from four different players, the boys unfortunately dropped a tight contest to the Wildcats 6-4. to 